Welcome to the first episode in a series of episodes for Science Week, the Science Week podcast. So, uh, my name is Kate, and I'll kind of be hosting today. I'm joined by four of my peers. Uh, my name is Kate, as I said. My name is Raj. My name is Kapil. And I'm Sarah. <laughs> and today we'll be debating the, uh, the shape of the Earth's surface. So, arguing for flat earthers are Sarah and Kapil, and then Raj and I are opposing them uh, and talking about how the Earth is indeed curved. So, <laughs> yeah, right. a little bit of bias there. Uh, <laughs> would, you, would you guys like to start? Yeah, so basically the leading flat earther theory mm -hmm. and the thing that most people believe is that basically the earth is a disc. Kind of like this. Yeah, Kabul has a nice diagram. A little smudged out, but. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if this was the earth, which is a disc-shaped flat earth, and there's a wall of ice surrounding the earth, and NASA officials actually guard that wall of ice, to prevent any intruders from passing out and going into the void. So they think the Arctic Circle is in the middle of the disk, and Antarctica is the endless void of ice. Is there, sorry, oh, sorry, okay, thank you. Uh, can I ask why NASA officials? Because they're, of they're a bunch of governments, a bunch of countries, their own governing entity, so because why NASA? Because NASA is like one of the leading um, organizations related to space exploration and other space related no, things. Governmental organizations? Yeah, governmental. And flat, earth, flat earthers are very, have a like deep, distrust of so, the government. So if the so if they were very private about this, why would they give licenses to private facilities to create their own rockets and things uh, like sorry, that? Sorry, I don't know. For example, SpaceX, yeah. uh, Blue Origin, these are funded by private organizations, exactly, private entities. Because, because those uh, are funded, like you said, by pu uh, private companies, so like Elon Musk, SpaceX, yeah. right? So the flat earthers have a very deep distrust of the government and not the civilians because they, they themselves are civilians. That's not what I'm saying. So oh. if if they <laughs> of course <you're> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so if they if they really distrust NASA and if NASA is who you paint them out to be, so why are they giving licenses to other uh, other companies to do what they're doing? They're, they're not. Also they thing, are. Just just one thing to add. Is there like proof for the whole like just the just like there isn't proof yeah. that the Earth is round? There's no. There's a lot of proof. I think more but than actual evidence in science. They don't have evidence. It's mostly just distrusting of the government and like official members, and yeah. it could come from like many things. Why do you? Yeah, you said many things. Can you give me like one reason? Well, in many countries, the government might not be as good, I guess, okay. as say, and there could have many problems with them, and it's just a distrust. Yeah, just to add on, for example, yeah. even even in America, there's this facility called Area Fifty One. I'm pretty sure we've heard of it. And it's a major like conspiracy theory about what goes on in there, and the government doesn't want to reveal any information. Yeah, it's just rumors. They don't about have faith in the actual but government. Yeah, like if yeah. it was rumors and stuff, then the government would disclose no, some but, information. But that's national security, right? So like just because uh, there are a bunch of facilities, and that's the. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're team. Okay. So there, there are loads of government facilities, but they're only asking about one. If they're not revealing the details of all the other facilities, why do they have to reveal just one because the public is asking because them? As, as a government, they have certain like rights and powers that certain governments abuse and uh, try to keep information and, as you said, national security problems to themselves, which makes the civilians of their own country distrust them and which causes theories like these to come up. So if if the government is indeed hiding things and if Area 51 is involved and all that kind of thing, sort of government secrecy, what does that, like, how does gravity play into that? Because people who believe there's a curved Earth will talk about how gravity is like, oh, well, there's gravity and it, it makes things like spherical and stuff. So, Sarah, what do you, what do you well, think? Well, most flat earthers actually don't believe in gravity, surprisingly. They think gravity is an illusion. Oh. Um, they believe that objects don't accelerate downward. They think that the disk of the Earth actually accelerates upward and they call this mysterious force they call it yeah they call it dark energy so so if you let, can i can i yeah, or you want to no. go on <laughs> yeah. 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 so then why does why do we have the moon then so if everything's accelerating upward why is the moon going all around us because well, some orbits. people it's nighttime in their city but some people it's daytime mm -hmm. and the moon is constantly revolving but if it's going upward then how is that possible well that's yeah. the thing there's just so much science to disprove flat earth theories but so many people still believe in it for some reason. There's endless 
proof. There's so many scientific evidence that shows that the Earth is round, but unfortunately, some people don't just don't believe in it. Even educated people, there's a huge number of scientists who actually do believe in a flat Earth. And I we mentioned this before, but yeah. it's mostly the root of it is just distrust, yeah. and not just government, but science itself. Huh. That's there was really there was actually a there was like a research that was done in the University of Malta in I think it was 1996 and one of the like head doctors Dr. Klosov was actually um, a flat earther and due to this experiment he found out some evidence that proved that it's possible that the earth might actually be flat for example he he was I think he was researching how ions or atoms uh, how much time it takes them to explode for um, bombs I think and while he was exploring the space and uh, he found that maybe the earth is actually flat so it's uh, science uh, scienti uh, scientists as well who believe some of them that believe that the earth is flat okay that's really really interesting really good information as well but one question I have is if that's true and if some scientists do believe that how would you sort of disprove or debunk satellite images that are from space that clearly shows that the Earth is indeed uh, curved and how there are, you know, um, rovers, not rovers, but things in space that the has... Satellites. Yeah, yeah, thank you, <laughs> that's the word. Satellites that have been launched that have orbited Earth and indeed show that it's curved. Well, they don't believe in the pictures. They think they're yeah. fake, they think they're edited, they think many things. For example, we've all heard of the moon landing and um, when that happened, when that occurred, we've heard of the space race between America and Russia. And when America announced that they'd landed on the moon, there was many Russian people who believed it was just photoshopped or it was an illusion. And many flat earthers believed the same thing, that these satellites are just like artificial and they've been stitched and made by the government. But there's some undeniable facts that, for example, it, has, it doesn't even have anything to do with science. Even if you don't believe in science, there's some undeniable facts. Have you ever seen when a ship is sailing, the further they go away, suddenly they start to dip down or disappear. That's because the, because the, that proves that the Earth is round, and there's no science involved in that. Not, I mean, there is science involved. The, so the human eye has a certain limit that it can see to. This is what some certain flat earthers might believe as well. They think that the human eye has a certain limit that they can see to. And once a ship, like you said, yeah. passes that distance, it just sort of blurs out for us, and it kind of just disappears out of vision. So these certain ships, flat earth, other flat earthers believe that these ships yeah. get stopped at the wall of ice and <laughs> certain NAS NASA officials remove their memory and send them back into the earth. I wonder why they're so fixated on NASA. Yeah, I, I think it's because NASA is such a globally known uh, company, but also... Yeah. It's the world leading uh, government, like government-based uh, space okay. exploration. So if you, if, if you as, you know, you guys are assuming the position of flat earthers, if you guys were flat earthers, how would you go about um, convincing someone like Raj or me or myself that there w the Earth is indeed flat? Well, there is no proof of anything if you really speak. Even science, like the theory of evolution and everything, nothing is set in stone nothing is proven scientists are finding out they're wrong many times even like theories that were so popularly believed for example many people thought that the sun the sun revolved around the earth and now we obviously know that's not true so science is constantly getting disproved so also uh, if i was to try and make you believe that the flat it's the earth is flat i might also bring up how in many ancient cultures and olden times many Oh, like a lot of people believe that the earth was flat and m many things from ancient cultures we still do today so if ancient, cu uh, ancient cultures which are so deeply rooted in science and mathematics or believe that the earth was actually flat I know that we've advanced a lot from those times but if they were to believe that the earth is flat it must have some meaning behind it but as as we as time passes as technology evolves our thinking process also evolves like in the 60s, we went to the moon many times, not not just the US, many countries. But as that's gone over, even private companies can do that because as technology has evolved, pe more and more people are able to do that. So, no, you, know, you can go. No, 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 no it's fine, no. you can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, like what you were saying, like ancient cultures, there has to be something behind that. But I think that even though there are some cultures that uh, that believed that the earth was flat, 
Um, there are also things like, you know, the ancient Greeks and those and Romans who used sundials as well. Yeah. Um, and so those just sort of proved that the earth had a curvature in them. Yeah. Also, uh, another theory that like, or an another point that many flat earthers like to bring up is of, of Amelia er Earhart. Mm -hmm. In, uh, I think it was 1939 when she was declared, um, uh, like disappeared or dead. Because uh, she tried to go across the earth and many believe that she was actually, she managed to get past the guards of the wall of ice and she ended up in the endless void and actually died there. Mm -hmm. So th they believe that that's why she wasn't able to complete the full circle around the earth. There's many things that science can't exactly prove. For example, the Bermuda Triangle. There obviously must be some science behind it, but it could just be coincidence. There's no definite scientific reason for it. Some things it's just hard to find an explanation for. But like the Amelia Earhart thing. Wh when was that again? 1939. 1939. So I find that hard to believe that a plane could travel across the earth, like the whole earth, without needing to refuel a few times. But then why didn't they ever find her body? Why didn't they ever find any remains of her plane? There was nothing they could find. I mean, but the Earth, most of it is, some of it is unexplored. Like, the Earth is majority sea. And, for example, if you, for, if you broke down over a sea, then the debris would fall into the ocean. But even with the technology that was available at that time, they, they would have been able to find where her pl plane crashed or whatever happened there and they would have been able to explore wherever that was and find out. There was no like a uh, black box, a red box, what, is it black. black box? There's no black box at the time, uh, not that I know of. And the radar system wasn't as evolved as it is today, so how, how could they know or ch pinpoint where they flew or broke? Mm -hmm. yeah. And even now, only like 5% of the world's ocean is explored, like yeah, currently true. with all the technology we have. So it could just not be found. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I keep interrupting. I don't mean to. Um, so I feel like we're just kind of going back and forth mm -hmm. now. Uh, but I feel like we need to just sort of like condense it and just summarize everything. So if you guys take like maybe 20 seconds just to think through your arguments and we'll take 20 seconds to think through ours and then we can come back in like, not, not 20 seconds, in a minute. <laughs> and then and then we can we can just sort of like you would in like a, a, a more formal debate where it'd be an initial debate and then a rebuttal and then another debate, a rebuttal and then a summary. Um, yeah. So we can just take a second to discuss our points and then come back. Welcome back. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we had a discussion. We also discussed, we also discussed, discovered that Sara can make a very accurate cat sound. Would you like to do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We we are all friends. Um, kind of an issue. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. That's so <laughs> that's why we're debating, Rush. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you guys want to just summarize your points, and we'll summarize ours. I, I, I'd like when you're to ready. You guys go first. No, 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 no. It's okay. We're we're you guys are the yeah, opposition. You guys are so the opposition. Go for it. Okay, go sure. ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> so like we said before, it's there's really not much. There, while there is some scientific proof to prove both points. We think that at the end of the day, just let whoever wants to believe whatever they want to believe, and we shouldn't condemn people's choices and no. call them uh, like prove them, try and prove them wrong, and try and put them down. Just let people believe what they want to believe at the end of the day. Because even if after all of this, I know that after most debates or arguments, after you try to school someone, <laughs> it always it's not gonna change someone's opinion anyway. So just let them be. You can do your own thing and okay. see, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys have, you guys have, yeah. you guys have appealed to like basic human like empathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but that can't really be rebuttaled. Yeah, Raj, what's our summary? Have, like, so, to summarize for us, ap apart from that, what proves the earth is curved, I think that we should try and e educate people and try and promote that the earth is curved. <laughs> Not that it's wrong, but I feel like as a society, when if we need to evolve, all of us need to be on the same page, and we need to evolve together. It's harder to evolve because we're all we're all the same. We're all humans. It's harder to evolve when some of us have different ideas. So instead of like saying one, like just like you said, we shouldn't condemn each other's ideas. Instead, we should find a way that so like uh, find an idea that compromises for both of us. And in terms of the science. There's a lot of science that does prove the Earth is flat. The curvature, the curvature, 
Gravity. There's a lot of things that there's a lot of things that there's a lot of things that prove that Earth is curved. Like gravity. All mass has a gravitational field. The moon rotates around us just because gravity the gravity of the Earth because it's such a big mass keeps it in its gravitational field. Also, um the same thing with the ships, as they go down, it's going around the earth, curving, so we can't see it, as it's going below the horizon, which is where the sky meets the sea. Uh, would you like to add anything on? Um, I think that it's sort of similar to what they said, it's sort of like ap appealing to basic human logic, but as humans, we definitely have our right to like believe our own things, but if there are things that are so painfully obvious, I do think that we should argue that you know, these things are like, hey, that's not right. I'm really sorry, but I don't agree with you, and this is why. That and just sort of arguing with, I, I don't know, just sort of grace and yeah, um, that kind sure. of thing without telling people, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah I, I think that's us. I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you very much for joining our science podcast. There's two cameras. Uh, <laughs> just thank you for joining our science podcast. Thank just you. pick one camera. Um, and we hope you enjoy the rest of them. Bye. Bye. Bye.